Just dig a hole in the ground. Climb right on down. Place some boards on top of you and sprinkle dirt around. You will have to be dead if you only plan ahead. You'll be glad you kept the shovel on hand. Let's dig it one more time. Hello and welcome back to You Don't Have to Be Dead with SRJ26. We are back and we are at Yeti Tower and I have some stuff to show you. If you look over here, we've got a staircase. And if you remember correctly, I was going to try to make a place to be able to find some aliens. And well, I have made a place to be able to find some aliens. If we look up, there's a shadow up there in the sky. The theory, the theory was that we would make something way up high and then go up there and set it up so that I could be far enough away from spawning areas that are dark that we would have uh, monsters spawn. And if you're over 200 Y, you actually get a chance of having aliens visit you. Uh, the only problem is that it didn't seem... I'm actually going to hang out right here, which should be far enough away that it'll be dark up there in the whole thing. And I'll talk at you for a minute. So it should be dark enough up there that monsters will spawn, and we should have aliens visiting us. But uh, after building this wonderful little thing, uh, I did a lot of testing, and I was not getting any. Um, and I found that very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> because it took a fair amount of work to build the whole staircase and build the whole spaceship and then do some testing. That's probably why you haven't seen me in a few days. Um, so we're going to do one last test and just take a look here. And I guess I'll hang out down here for a while and see if we can get it to spawn. There's the lights up in the cockpit, um, but not in the body of the ship. Uh, although actually the two rocket thingies do have lights inside them so that those aren't going to get stuff spawning. Uh, but nothing ever spawned on top of the blocks either, which is weird. So something's going on. Uh, and I think it's a known issue, actually. I've done a little bit of research. But at any rate, uh, we're going to sort of hang out for a night and then take one more look around. I'll show you inside. And then I think we're going to start heading back towards spawn because uh, we want to slowly wrap this down. And uh, we've already killed the Herobrine dragon, so we're going to go back down and see what horrible things have been done to my stronghold base. And along the way, maybe have some adventures. So let's wait a little bit, and I'll show you inside, and we'll see if anything spawned. All right, the moon is going down on the other side now. Uh, I'm going to go up and take a look. It hasn't been a full night, but that really ought to be enough time for something to spawn because there's nothing else up here. There's no other spawning pads or areas up here. So we go up and we take a look and the body of the ship, the cargo bay, is empty. The only sound is the purring of the cat in my lap, so I think we're going to declare this uh, an impossible possibility. Um, if you go over here, you can see there's nothing on top. So something's weird, and that's okay. But uh, hey, we built another spaceship, so yay. And we're going to head down now, and we're going to see if... Uh, I guess we're going to get our stuff together and make for a trip to spawn. So <clears throat> let's see if we find any yetis or anything down here. Probably not. Um, a friend of mine mentioned that he's been watching along and he thinks that we had a lot of mobs inside of 10K and that maybe something weird is going on outside of 10K. I don't know if that's possible. I know we found Yetis up here and we're already outside, but I mean, I don't know. At this point, I'll, I'll, I'll imagine anything could be possible. But the sun's coming up, so we showed you the spaceship, another another failed experiment. <laughs> Lots of failed experiments, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to get some stuff together, and as soon as I'm ready, I will let you know. All right, so I used to have 81 levels. Now I've got 13. I uh, souped up, fixed up a little bit of my armor because it was all broken. Uh, I'm going to carry a saddle with me. And let's go 
breed a couple of those cows and kill them so we have some more food. And I think we're ready to go. So it's not dawn, but it's early enough in the day. I'm not too worried about mobs, especially since we're not seeing any. <laughs> Let's get going. And I did reboot the server. I bounced the server right before we uh, started today. So I don't know what's going on. There's the uh, Nifty's castle that started up and has not finished. I'm not sure if he's going to finish it or not. If he does, I'll come back and show it to you. I love how my horse's big head gets in the way of being able to see anything going down a hill like this. There could be like eight creepers in front of me and I would have no idea. There's not, thank goodness, but... Alright. So, cows. Let's breed a couple. And then kill some. One, two, three, four. Wow, this is... There you go. Oh, I can't even kill a cow. Alright. There we go. So we'll get a few out of the way. Get some meat. Just in case on the road I have a need. I've got some, but more is good. Alright, that'll do. And away we go. So we're going to head... I don't know which way we're going to head. Let's head some way. And this horse is a good jumper, thank goodness. Um, that was sort of an important requirement for my horse. And I've got two leads. Hopefully that will do. So I'm figuring we're just going to sort of go back the way we came, but I don't want to go exactly back the way we came because I don't want to go over old ground. I'd like to actually find something new. So we're going to I'm gonna lose our horse at the bottom of a river. There we go. We're going to sort of meander specifically so that we can hopefully find stuff. I would love to find a pagoda. I love pagodas. I would love to find... Uh, graveyard. This is all kinds of good stuff. So. Oh, I think we found something. Alrighty. I don't have any posts to stick this horse onto. Uh, we're going to explore this because it's actually kind of cool. I apologize for the yowling cat in the background. It's the uh, bane of my existence. My wife's lovely little Zoe. She's a hellion. Um, but, uh, here we go. There you are. Don't go away. All right. So the horse is hopefully uh, safely tethered. We're going to go in and check out this crazy looking structure. Hopefully not die. This is one that has should have some dangerous stuff in it. So including apparently trees right in the way. All right. There we go. I got my sword ready. I got torches along the way. Excellent. I wonder if someone else found this. Someone else must have found this because I don't think, well, I don't remember if there were torches. I don't know. We'll find out when we get to the top. Oh, I hear skeletons. That's not good. I don't want to have skeletons. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got a tower with, this does have torches. I. I don't know if I put them there. I mean, I don't know if I built the structure with torches in it or not. Whoa. Oh, that's disconcerting. I can't see anything. Those are the stupid clouds. 
Hey, we got lots of great stuff. I might sleep here because that will give me a spawn point. Yeah, junk chests. Junk, junk, junk. I'll get some coal. That's fine. Whoa. That is the noise that tells me that there is dark space nearby. Oh, wow. Oh, we got food. And a brewing station. Not that I have anything to brew, but still, very cool. And some f food. Cool. All right. Well, I gotta sleep. Let's just make sure there's no bed around here before we give. Oh, stairs. And snow. Oh, this could be a bedroom. It's not, but it could be. All right. Okay, let's go downstairs, grab one of those beds, and we'll sleep, and then we will explore that. There was a trap door, wasn't there? There was a trap door. Hmm. I wonder if that would be a good thing to fall down. Let's find out. Let's, uh, where's my down? Give me a down. Down, down. Good. No treasure. All right, fine. I should have made more treasure chests. Oh. Oh. Cool. I don't know if I need any of that, but cool. Sleep. In the clouds. Got a cat in my lap. So all is well. And the yowling cat is not yowling right now, so yay. All right, let's get down out of this. Ugh, I don't like being able to not see. That's just random how the the tower happened to spawn right at a spot where the clouds would be there. Um, all right, I don't like that sound. Where, where who am I listening to there? There's, all right, fine. I see blue, that means water, so let's do it. Uh, how gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna get back up, but Wow. Okay. I'm in a cage. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I have boots of feather falling, but I should prop oh I don't have any torches. Let's um let's make some more torches. Uh, I'm tempted to bounce the server again, but you know what? I already bounced the server and I'm not gonna do it twice because I shouldn't have to do it twice. I'm gonna get more torches. Because I think this is a big dark place that I'm in right now, and it's already making me nervous, so let's make it light. Uh, let's use the power of F5 to see our face. No, okay, so we can't see what's around us here. I see a place maybe I can get to. You guys can't see though. Let's light it up. I can't light it up. Let's get out of here and then light it up. All right. Um, hmm. Dirt. Great equalizer. There we go. All right. So I fell down into that wonderful little cage. How nice of them. Um, And yes, I know, I actually built this structure in the code, but it's much more fun if I do it this way. The big question is, will we get anything to spawn in here? That is a very big question.
All right, I should have found something already monster-wise. So we're going to come back here, and we're going to bounce the server because this should be fun for you to watch me die. So <laughs> give me a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, so server has been bounced. We will now see if that helps. It might not. I don't know. I mean, I'm good with this stuff, but I'm... Oh, oh yeah. All right, that's a terrible sound of ghosts. Okay, yay. I mean, eek. I mean, yay. Hopefully, some of these guys are spawning inside of cells. That would be convenient for me. You see now why I wanted all those torches. I was like, why is there a pig? Oh yeah, ninjas. All right, um, let's... There's gotta be something in here. So let's see if we can find the loot chest because there's, there's loot chests in these structures. Let's go downstairs where the entire downstairs is dark. <laughs> Let's light up this room. This is going to be a ghost-heavy episode, I think. Well, I haven't found any. Oh. Don't like you. Don't like you. Whoa. Okay. All right, so let's get some food and then kill this ghost. A lot of ghosts. I guess these are the ghosts of prisoners long past or something. Should be other stuff spawning too, but we'll see. All right, so we made the circle. Now I'm pretty sure in some of these corners there are some things to go find, so let's go. Check out some of these corners. Not there. Not there. Oh, I can actually just go through. I'll just go. Whoa. So I'll put you out of your misery, too. Ooh, a ghost carrot. All right. Hello. Is that? Why is that thick? I don't know. Ah, oh, interesting. So maybe one of these sections and one of the other cells will have something in it? I don't know. Let's go find out. Um, let's go this way. I suppose this is guaranteeing I'm going to probably hit every mob in the whole place, but so far we've been okay. Hello. Ow, oh, no. Die. Yikes. Hey. All right. We've got our loot. More loot than we can take. That's, um, uh, what's valuable? What's not valuable? There we go. I thought I really need two diamond axes, but hey, why not? 
Now we gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, help! I'm trapped. Um, let's. We're down at 49, so we're not like at the bottom of the world, but we're pretty far down. And we still have monsters. Let's go <clears throat> back up one level, because at least that's one level we won't have to. There we go. Now we can't, well actually I suppose I could just pillar up the drop chute, but I would save someone the amusement of falling into here. In fact, I should probably close that up again. Oh, I dropped my, oh well. That's fine, we'll leave it that way. But we gotta get out of here, so. How's it dark again? What happened? Must not have gotten this part. Is there anything around here? All right, so let's go up around the corner. Yeah, we're at 57. We're actually not that deep down the ground. Man, those ghosts are creepy. All right, let's just go make a stair along the perimeter here of the structure. And this should get us out. And then we can chop down lots of trees, I guess, because let's put a torch down because I can't see. And if I can't see, then you can't see. And if you can't see, that's a problem because you are hopefully trying to watch this. Let's go a little bit. There we go. And it's light. Ain't that sweet. All right. Yay! That's not my horse, that's a cow. Okay, here we are. So, we have uh, survived the, the, the prison tower, the goblet tower, is another way, another name for it, but the prison tower, and killed a couple ghosts and gotten some amazing loot. Well, a little loot. Um, and tomorrow we're going to keep on going towards spawn. Or next time we play, we're going to keep on going towards spawn. It'll probably be tomorrow. And again, think about what you want me to do for Season 3. Because that is rapidly approaching now. I'm going to try to do a couple episodes a week. And we will get there. And hopefully we'll find out what happened to our stronghold. Because I'm sure something interesting has happened to our stronghold in our absence. So, uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. so many rumors, sometimes you get confused. But I read it in Time magazine, and I heard it on the news.